Hello and welcome to Hebden Bridge and welcome to a Calderdale ride similar to the one that we've actually done before at Hebden Bridge but this ride is called a circular and it will take you around about 18 miles up and over the tops. Now this ride today was a complete mix. There wasn't a massive amount of gnarly stuff shall we say so if that's your bag this probably won't be the ride for you. There were some really steep climbs, there was also some really fast down sections not a vast majority of off-road bar in the end section a lot of the trails seem to be on road so if you love the speed you may enjoy this ride i'm going to give you the full review as i actually get back towards the back end of the video so that you get a chance to have a look at some of the trails that are out there some of the single track and some of the dirt roads etc see what you think and then i'll give you my thoughts at the end of this video on whether it's worth your time because hebden bridge is just fantastic there's everything here for it that a mountain biker could possibly want all different types of terrain but that's enough waffle, time to get up there on the trails. Hope you enjoy the video. Very fast and enjoyable. I can't explain to you how good it feels that there is not one creak, not one sound coming from the bike at all. It's absolutely silent. It's, it feels like new bike day, honestly. It really does feel like new bike day. Eventually, as we get to the top of the hill, usually we would turn right down the hill and then you'll know where that is from the previous videos. So this one goes through, almost looks like it goes through somebody's back garden and onto some single track. And it has been a bit of a climb from the centre of Hebden Bridge. Nothing ridiculous, but it has been. Oh, not a very long one. And I've changed the bar position so they the brake pads are in a better position for me, in the attack position. And the bike feels very, very strange. You do get used to the geometry of your own bike. And it's going to take me a while to get used to this, I think. Yeah, just, just even changing the, the angle of this so the bars are slightly further forward or back completely changes how the bike feels and if you haven't done this give it a go you may find you like it more it's going to take me a while to get used to it definitely a lot better having these bricks down there when you're in the attack position it's just much more comfortable on the wrist but the wrist is straight rather than bent you know what that spire or that tower means up there let me know and there uh, all the windmills over there the glorious sunshine over on the right hand side and we have done so much climbing i'm not sure a mile it says, so I don't know if this is going to be a mile all downhill. Oh, it's steep, I'll tell you that. A little bit of break, because I don't know what's around these corners. Yep, it's steep. Again, okay, some of these roads, you want to really just get, you know, get your, get your knee down and get right over, but you've got to be really careful of tractors like that. A lot sharper than I thought it was. Car or tracks coming around that corner and you are going to be mush. Cow mush. And uh, I've already had one BMW rider last week try to kill me intentionally across the side of the road to try and knock me off. I didn't have the GoPro with me, unfortunately. Steve was behind me. We both agreed that well, that's attempted murder. Ah, 
fire bucket. So there we go, we did miss out this section down the right hand side. Cheers! I bet we've missed a fantastic single track, what do you bet? What do you bet? I bet we have. So a little bit of Garmin issue, which probably not be my fault again. But this last time was some really nice little bit of single track. And I'll just have a, have a chill out down here. Very overgrown. I'm gonna try and watch out for pedal strikes. I can't actually see the side of the trail here but very well. And uh the bike has just been absolutely superb today, absolutely fantastic, feels like a new bike, obviously we've got no squeaking, no creaking, just just brilliant, just really really enjoyed today, it's not been the longest of rides. Very dark in here, well. to see where you're going. Yeah. I've said it before multiple times here on the channel and I'm going to say it again but when your bike doesn't creak and it doesn't squeak I didn't know I was a rapper. It's, <laughs> it's nothing if you haven't got it but when your bike has been doing this for so long and even though the riders are mentioning it very happy. I mentioned at the beginning of the video that you could have this ride in two different ways. If you take this ride as a leisurely Sunday stroll out on the bike then you probably will enjoy it. Some of the hills yes they are steep but the majority of the climbs seem to be on road so if you're out in a group and you just want to have a really relaxed chilled out ride then you may enjoy it. On an e-bike it's not so bad but obviously if you're on a traditional mountain bike you may be a little bit hot and sweaty and bothered as you get to the top but there's nothing in there I think if you've got a great general set of fitness that's really going to challenge you. Sponsored by Garmin, adding on many 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 miles to a route. Ooh. Cheeky bit of downhill, bit of cheekiness. Cheeky. Bit of cheekiness coming out there. And we're not making a U turn. Little doggy. Little doggy. Eventually it will lead you all the way from the bottom of the valley all the way up to the peak again which I think will lead us to the last downhill section towards the valley down below there and uh, yeah, it's quite a climb. Put you out of breath a little bit if you turn the e-motor down. But this could be a leisurely Sunday ride, depending on your mindset. Or it could be a great fitness blast if you want to get that fitness up. Yeah. Oops. Quite a lot of graft. On your right. I'm on your left, can I overtake you? Cheers, thanks. 
one of these rocks. Oh, this is nice. Heidi's feeling nice and bouncy. That's my mud, that's my mud guy, don't worry. Oh, yeah. Heidi's just feeling so great at the minute. So agile. Just brilliant. It's just feeling so good at the minute. Oh, yeah. I thought back there when we heard that sound, I'd bust me, uh, I bust my tyre. <laughs> I did about laugh at it. She went, are you joking? I'm an old Mountain 7. Bring it on, bitch. That's what she's saying to me. Two little bunny up here. Get over these. Come on, give us some more speed. So that's the end of the ride. I've had coffee and cake, so I'm feeling a little bit better. So, give us a little review on that ride. Well, speaking to Steve, I thought I'd get his opinion so that I'm not biased, obviously, because I'm doing content and I want it to be interesting for you guys. He's rated that a six to a seven out of 10. It did feel like there was an awful lot of climbing and not a huge amount of downhill. And some of the downhills were actually road sections, really, really fast. Uh, having said that, that last little downhill, which is the main hill that you ride up all the way to the top, was a great blast all the way down. It really was enjoyable. And it's always nice, isn't it, to come downhill when you get back to the car at Ebden. And of course, you can have coffee and cake here at the park behind me. What do I rate that? Do you know what? I would say that would be a great new rider, uh, a new, new tour for a new rider. If you want to chill out, on a Sunday, just have a relaxed ride, great. If you're a little bit more experienced in your riding, it could be a great fitness ride. If you get your foot down, that would be a really good fitness ride because there are some nice uphills. Even on an e-bike, you'll, you'll feel like you've had a nice workout. Some of the downhills, not enough single track for my liking, but the ones that are there are extremely gnarly if you take them at speed. So again, if you're a new rider, just be careful. Elbows and knees, shoulders, cod piece, whatever you want to wear, don't let anybody else make you feel like you're wearing too much. And don't let the amount of body armor that you've got on give you an over sense of confidence that you actually ride beyond your limits. But I've quite enjoyed it today. It's probably not a route that I will do again. I do prefer the older one. But you've got to get out there and you've got to try them. And uh, I've got to apologize for the state of me. I, I drove from Portsmouth yesterday. So lad's a little bit tired. And you also notice I've got this cool top on from Alpine Peak, I think they're called great top but i'll be doing a video on this and i may even do one on these new enduro pants which are fantastic but there you go i'll say bye bye thanks for watching hope you enjoyed the video commute and strava and even three words i'll be down in the description box if you want to come and do this ride back to me carrot cake and me coffee see you later bye bye